Hi, it's John here from TMG Yachts. We're at the Auckland Boat Show. Uh, today we're going to take a look through the Prestige 520 flybridge. It comes as a flybridge that we'll look at today and also it comes in the S version, so that's the sports coupe with the electric opening roof. Starting at the back of the boat, um, fabulous duck board here. This has an option to go all the way down. As it goes down, these stairs then open up really nicely and automatically so you can walk down all the way th down the stairs, down to the duck board in the water. And of course it goes under the water as well. And then a lot of our clients then are putting chocks on here and that's where they'll pop the, the large tender on the back. Now in here, we have the ability to have a lot of storage or if, if you like, you can have a crew cabin in, in this area as well. So the 520 has got a massive cockpit, lovely area, and this is all really well set up. So it can transition to have these pop up so that can be a back for when you're sitting and having dining. You perhaps have a couple of chairs on the other side. The table opens up, so this becomes a really functional area. Or it can be in this layout, so it's more of a loungy setup where you can be sunbathing and, and relaxing. What's nice is, is one of the one of the factory options here is the extending awning. So this awning here extends and comes all the way back. So with the sun setting or depending on where the sun is, uh, you can have great shade, but still have a lot of airflow coming through this area. Let's have a look up on the flybridge. Prestige are famous for their flybridge yachts. They lead the industry from 40 to 80 feet and have really got this worked out very, very well. The barbecue right here, tap here. On this side, we have refrigeration. And on this side, on this particular boat, it's, it's storage, but that can be an ice maker if you want. It's a fabulous entertaining area up here. So I guess it's another, another place to hang out, another place to be, but it's so large. Seating area here, you can have a good eight people around for dinner. Um, so cooking on the barbecue, serving dinner to here. There's two seats up here, so a lot of space for maneuvering the vessel and for driving and great visibility all around. So really nice place to be. We've got the Garmin electronics, electric throttles. This is the IPS version. And as with most of the prestiges, these owners have chosen to upgrade the engines. So really a lot of get up and go with this, with this particular boat. Everything's easy, straight, easy to hand. We've got uh, joystick maneuvering with the Volvo IPS. That's all one system all the way through to the engines. Really nicely integrated. You want someone next to you sunbathing. Works really well like this, but also these can pop up at different levels. There we go. So a really nice modular setup here. Chair here facing forward, chair there. Um, this flips across nice and easily so that from there we have this fabulous dining area um, where you can sit down and talk about the day's adventures. This is nice, so this is an option from the factory. Sometimes on these boats, and the flybridge boats, if you put too much weight up top, you do tend to be quite top heavy, so this is a really nice alternative. It can be folded away, so a lovely bimini, keeping away the sun, and it's also got integrated LED lights in it, so creating a really nice sort of ambiance of, of an evening. I just want to take a moment to really take this in. What we're looking at here, is done so well you know it screams luxury refinement it's simple refinement it's not over the top but the interior designers here to my mind have just done an incredible job and you can see why the the 520 has been such a success it's a huge area there's light flowing in from everywhere it just feels right it feels like a a, a home it feels like a place where you can relax and be relaxed that uh, the art de vivre, so the art of living, is what they really concentrate on. All the little finishes, the leather, the countertops, the way the colors work together, all of these small things add up to what is a very, I think, dramatic and elegant layout and, and, and look, it's just beautiful. So we go from this incredible cockpit now and it flows straight inside really nicely. As with all the prestige, again, lots of headroom. 
a real feeling of space. This is, this is beautifully done. So you have a huge galley area, proper refrigeration down here, and then a freezer section up top. Really nice to have that sort of grade of refrigeration on board a vessel like this. Appliances are all by Mila, so lots of storage all around here, lots of preparation area, sinks with beautiful covers. This is a stunning area they've done, I mean, the owners have optioned up to have really nice interior upholstery. They've gone with the dark wood, which you can really get away with in a boat like this because the Prestiges have got such huge windows around the side that the light really flows in. And so to have the contrasting dark wood does look stunning. Table here, slightly further out. So you've got nice walk around. It's a really clever design and it's down in the coffee table position at the moment. Of course that then comes up. Electric. So and now we're up at the dining table height. We can open it up onto these supports, which is nice. And then there's a little chain under here. You pull it and the whole table can then come across to you so that when you are dining, it's perfect position. And then you can put a couple of chairs over here. And I suppose you'd have one, two, three, perhaps four, five, six or seven for dinner. So from the dining table, of course, this thing goes all the way down and then we can have an end film so that this whole area can be a day bed. So if you want to kick back, watch TV, some Netflix, chill out, all the curtains around, come down, give you, give you privacy. Um, just a lovely place to hang out. Lovely lighting. Again, just creating that really nice feel at night time on board. When you don't go for the flybridge, this whole ceiling here electrically opens up. So that moves all the way back giving you fresh air um, above you and a, and a real feeling of sort of indoor outdoor living. So there is an option for this to, to switch across so that you become more part of the, of the living area if you want to. This, these owners haven't done that, they've kept this. Um, so really it's a dedicated double helm seat. If you are wanting to go out and grab some lines then, or just to communicate to people outside, then this door's fantastic. So you just walk out when you're mooring up. Sitting at the helm fields, it feels good, it feels really comfortable. There's a really nice place to put your feet here. So you feel very secure in this position. It's quite a, it feels quite sporty. And of course, with the larger engines, it does have a lot of get up and go this boat. So she's topping out around that 30 knots. And we've got full instrumentation from Garmin, everything you'd expect of a prestige motor yacht at this level, and everything easily to hand with the IPS. Again, as with upstairs, um, we have the joystick control. So it makes docking the boat really really simple so this is a three cabin version of the 520 i'd say you'd call this the vip cabin so king size bed walk around and just beautiful finishes throughout so the interior design the work that the factory have been doing is just fantastic everything's lined so you've got beautiful finishes and, and a really nice feel nice hidden lighting beautiful bedside lamps, area to do perhaps your makeup. It's got a lot and it's got a lot of storage as well in this cabin. So we have full length mirror on this side. And again, all the, all the cabin, all the cabinetry, as you open them up, the lights come on and then they have an ensuite through here, which is beautiful. Lots of Corian in there, very nice finish. And that can be accessed also as your day head from, from, the, from the door as you're coming down the passageway. In this configuration, obviously, you do have the double bed here. Um, the, these, these can come apart. So if you have people that want to sleep separately, you can do these just slip apart and then you've got two single beds as well. So we're here in the third cabin in the forward part of the vessel. Again, to perhaps a kid's cabin, two really nice single beds. But these do also come together. So if you want a couple in here, they come together as a, as a nice double bed as well. So again, just a lovely feel in this cabin. Lots of storage here and then access to the day head. So under here, we'll have a washer dryer, which is an option on a boat this size where, you know, certainly these owners will go away for, for weeks at a time on, on board the boat. It's a real, really nice thing to have that washer dryer on board the vessel. One of the real selling points of the 520 and one of the reasons it's been such a success around the world is something that Prestige have really mastered. And that is having the master cabin full beam but access from the back of the boat. So you're away from your guests and you have complete privacy. Let's go and have a look. The owner's sanctuary, you know, and it really is a sanctuary. It's completely separate to the rest of the boat. You have these huge, huge windows to look out, 
king size bed which is just fabulous and then just lots of lots of beautiful finishes loads of storage so wherever you look you've got storage really nice finishes with the leatherette touches and the roof this is all like a, a velvet sort of feel to it all padded we have the obligatory massive television that uh, people can have or not but it's certainly a nice place to come and relax and watch some tv um, nice place here just to sit you know maybe look out the window read a book being in this uh, in this space really feels nice it feels nice and airy we're at a boat show so of course it's very stable but to have a an amidships full beam cabin is really the best place to position the master cabin because it's the most stable part of 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 a boat storage there's more storage here actually this is incredibly good so if we look in there not quite a walk-in wardrobe but you know full hanging lots of lots of shelves really really clever and then of course you have your full full length full length mirror here as well we'll have a look into the master ensuite so it's uh, again finished with beautiful corian very large area large toilet which is always nice and a full-size shower here and then the vanity behind me so it's just got a beautiful feel of luxury one of the things that the owner of this boat has pointed out that he really loves about having the the cabin in this area is that if you climb up the stairs you're immediately in the cockpit or you're just just next to the cockpit through the galley so he loves that because if he hears anything at night or wants to check on something rather than coming all the way from the front of the boat up and then along and out it's much quicker you can just pop up here and see what's going on so that's certainly something that they love about this cabin configuration and where it is on the vessel okay, so there's multiple access for the for getting to the engines one in here one in here storage down here um, the engines on this vessel like most prestige as we've spoken about have been upgraded to the larger engines so they're running ips so the ips system is an integrated system from volvo running all the way from the joystick down to your pod drives ips 650s which is what these are the 650 refers to the what what would what would be the horsepower were it a normal shaft drive vessel so the horsepower on this is rated at 480 horsepower but in fact ips 650s gives you the equivalent of 650 horsepower so storage in here can be a fridge as well um, but certainly very handy handy storage everywhere you look there's lots of little nooks and crannies to to store your things this is really nice so you've got an electric assisted winch here certainly a lot of our clients will be launching their boats in europe and when you're doing a, ma a med mooring, you're, you're laying out your anchor in front and then you're pulling in on this just to pull yourself up to the town quay or the wharf. Um, so this is a, certainly a must in Europe and I think a really nice thing to have on a boat of this size in general. So moving forward, we've got nice wide gunnels. This is all easy and high. And we've also got stainless steel grab holds on either side. I'm walking past now an open door. so. That's where you can come out to grab some lines if you're coming from the inside helm. This area is done particularly well. So rather than just having flat uh, sunbathing, these flip up at different levels and your legs at different levels. So you can be here for a long time, really comfortably, uh, relaxing, reading a book, enjoying the, enjoying the ride. There's a lot of storage in here for the anchor windlass and many of the owners like to be forward, perhaps one of them forward, having a look at where the where the anchor is and letting the helms person know um, as they lower or, or bring the anchor back up. Of course, there's the option of a remote control with a chain counter at, uh, at either helm station as well. This has been and is the Prestige 520 Flybridge. As I say, one of the most popular models in the, in the Prestige motor yachts range and you can really see why. Lots of incredible features that we've gone through. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Please do like and subscribe and get in touch with us at TMG Yachts for more information.